Okay, hi everybody. Uh, we're going to go through and, and do some factoring practice here. So our factoring review number one. Okay, factor each of the following. Notice it's 25xy plus 15x squared. Uh, the very first thing you should do every time you get a factoring question is you should take a look for something that's common. Okay, now a common factor. Okay, so take a look at the numerical coefficients 25 and 15. Well, 25 okay, is 5 by 5. Uh, 15 is 3 by 5. I can see a common factor of 5, so I'm going to take a 5 and write it out here. Okay. Uh, I also see that in terms of the variables, there's an x times a y here, and here there's an x times an x. There's a common factor of x there. And when I remove the common factor of 5 from 25, I am left with the 5 left over. If I take out the x, I'm left with a y there. And over here, if I take out the 5, I'm left with a 3 in the 15. And if I take out one of the, the two x factors, I'm left with another a single factor of x. So I get 3x here. Now, I often get asked when we do the factoring here, you know, like what happened to the xy or what happened to the x squared here? Well, it's, it's still all right there. If you multiply this back out, if you take 5x, multiply it by 5y, okay, then what you're getting here is 25xy. If you take the 5x and multiply it by the 3x, that would be 15x squared. Because remember, essentially what we're doing here when we take out common factoring is we're doing the distributive property, but backwards. I'm looking at this and I'm saying, look, something has been distributed to these two terms. What has that been? Well, because 5x as a factor shows up in both of those terms, it was the 5x that was distributed. And so when I write it this way, it's in factored form. 